I'm getting a wax appointment this morning. Every single morning when I wake up, I write something in my journal from my dreams that like the moment I wake up, I'm like, that's the message that I needed to receive. And this morning was, I'm surrendering every story of smallness. And I really feel that any story lingering within me that makes me feel any type of way that isn't in my highest alignment, that isn't fully worthy of receiving and being respected and being seen in every way is being released. That isn't worthy of goodness, essentially. I have a very guilty, complex, I feel so bad about every little thing, and I'm trying to release that a little bit. I mean, it's a process, and I don't think I'll ever fully release it because it's part of my moral compass. But anyway, <laughs> we're just getting right into it. Um, I'm gonna get bikini wax this morning, which is my preferred method of hair removal. I feel like it's so backwards when people shame me for getting my hair removed because it's like, I do not care what anyone else does to their hair, and I don't think it's anyone's place to say, anything negative about someone who has hair and the same thing about someone who doesn't have hair the point is that we should be able to choose whatever we want to do with our bodies and that it's no one else's place to dictate that um i love getting bikini waxes i fully let everything grow out and then i will get it waxed and it'll last or decent amount of time and my hair gets really thin and I've just never been a fan of shaving and luckily for me when I get bikini waxes I don't get ingrown hair so it's just really effortless and it's gotten a lot easier throughout the years a lot less painful so I actually I don't mind my wax appointments and I really like my wax lady so yeah I'm gonna do that this morning I just got out of the shower and I have my little purple outfit on with a stain, normalized stains. Today I'm just doing some editing. I'm working on three different videos today. One will already be up. It'll be vegan recipes that I eat every single week. I'll put the thumbnail here. I'm gonna finish filming some clips for that and get ready today. Maybe film a room tour video. Feeling really grateful for the new neural pathways I have formed in my life through all of the troubling times like uh, just catching myself in any narratives that aren't kind and realigning with the beliefs that I have rewritten maybe my limiting past beliefs with um, around food that has been coming up for sure and I've been pretty much allowing myself to eat whatever I want and then also just working out and doing my daily yoga practice and just being really kind to myself and remembering that my progress and this journey that I'm on of just purification of the body, mind, spirit, so I can be as light as possible in this human experience is one that goes beyond physical expectations or expecting my mind to always be calm or quiet. It's like the path of ascension and purification is beyond anything in this third dimensional realm and Tuning into that allows me to keep refining my focus and being like, I'm not just being kind to myself now in this moment because I have an attachment to some external reward or experience. It's because of how good it feels to feel connected to source and to my highest truth and to that energy that is beyond all of these changes. And anytime I find myself attaching to any kind of external results, I take a deep breath and I really try to connect with with what is real and in the yogic lineage they say that anything that is real is what does not change and anything that is an illusion is that which changes which is most things in our life and the one thing that isn't changing is the ever-present witnessing conscious witnessing that you are and so I just connect to that like source energy that is omnipresent and that lingers in all things and I feel so beyond my human mind or human desires or smallness and acting from a place uh, that's so much bigger than just my mind or this third dimensional realm I feel like really helps me to tune into where things are actually coming from what desires what ambitions it's like is this feeding some part of my ego or is this in alignment with wanting to do the highest good upon the planet and allows me to move from a place that is yeah beyond just my small limited mind <laughs> haven't done one of these in a while but I got a big beautiful head of curly kale, one of my favorite greens. And I got two bunches of, I think this is butter lettuce. It's so soft and 
delicious. I think I'm gonna make some wraps for breakfast today. I love eating savory things for breakfast. I got a red pepper for my wraps, red onion, avocado, clover sprouts, and then I got this locally made toasted coconut granola. This is what I whipped up for lunch. It's a coconut wrap with hummus, cucumber, peppers, spinach, clover sprouts, and some fresh greens, tempeh, and a little bit of sauerkraut. I just finished filming a video and I'm trying on some clothes. I got some new pieces from ThreadUp, which is the sponsor of today's video. ThreadUp is the world's largest online thrift store with some of your favorite brands that you know and love for up to 90% off estimated retail. Brands like Reformation, Realization Par, Brandy Melville, Urban Outfitters, perhaps brands that you don't want to give your coin to by shopping firsthand, but you can get them secondhand from ThreadUp for a more reasonable price. And I I really love how convenient their website is. You can customize your sizes so that anything that you search or look up, only your particular sizes will show up in the results. And that just makes shopping secondhand so easy because you can customize the brand and the size and just specifically what you're looking for. And I always find really great pieces on their site. So I just wanted to show you some of them today and also let you know that if you click the link in my description box or use the code HITOMI at checkout, you can get 30% off of your first order on ThreadUp. So I'm going to show you some of my new favorite pieces and this tank top is one of them. I feel like the outfit that I'm wearing right now is a staple summer outfit. Really simple. I love these high-waisted shorts that I just got secondhand. They were denim pants and then I cut them and they're just really nice, kind of loose and this tank top. I adore a nice black frilly tank top. This one is actually by the brand Hollister and was originally around $20 but I got it on ThreadUp for $7. 99 and uh, I just think it's so cute and flattering this next dress I wore it on a date and it was a hit it's pretty much see-through which is totally my vibe and this is by the brand kimchi blue it was originally around $60 but I got it on thread up for $21.99 and it's just so comfortable I feel like it's such a wholesome pattern and cut style but the fact that it's see-through just makes it really spicy and just kind of sexy so I'm a fan. Little vibe switch, big vibe switch here actually. I am obsessed with this jumpsuit. This is an Adidas fleece jumpsuit and uh, yeah, I, I think it's amazing. This was originally around $95, but I got it on ThreadUp for $37.99. I've never seen a jumpsuit like this and it definitely gives me this 80s retro energy that I love and just makes me feel really cool. Definitely going to wear this with some platforms. This next fit is a little bit of a vibe switch. Again, it's all centered around this paisley midi skirt. This is by the brand Nasty Gal and was originally around $45 but I got it for $12.99 on ThreadUp. I love a good midi skirt. I feel like they're just really comfortable and definitely give this Y2K energy that uh, I'm, I'm living for. Anything really that I get to wear my platforms with, I, I'm obsessed. This romper, I adore. It's pretty earthy and it's going to be a very wearable piece for me because of how comfortable it is and it kind of wraps around the top, which I think is a really cute design goes all the way around and the shorts have pockets which is such a win and I love the little tiny bit of midriff showing and I think this is so cute with my copper necklace this is by the brand free people was originally around $128 but I got it on thread up for $47.99 and this is just going to be a great staple for me to wear I love it with my little headscarf I also wanted to show you I got this hat from thread up I think it looks so adorable. I just want to garden and go to the farmer's market, forage, make some chamomile tea. So those I guess are some of the alter egos that I will be embodying in the next few months of summertime and 
Like I said, if you want to get 30% off of your first order on ThreadUp, you can click the link in my description or use the code HITOMI at checkout. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. I think I'm going to make myself some breakfast now and finish filming a different video that I'm working on. Just made a really random salad for lunch. This has roasted tempeh, which I've just been loving. It adds a little bit more oomph to a salad and I added some yummy marinade. There's hummus in here. And I'm just going to import the footage that I got today. I also love vlogging on my Canon 80D, so I'm going <laughs> to film the rest of the video on this camera. My other vlog camera seems to overexpose me literally no matter what I do to the settings. I always feel like the lighting and the coloring is so off and not the best quality. So this is going to be my new vlog camera. It's the Canon 80D with the Sigma art lens. And I have the... Canon 5D Mark IV, which is what I use for more sit-down videos, so I feel so grateful that all of my tools, all my paintbrushes are ready to go for whenever I need them. This is so good. Hello, good morning. It's 9 a.m. right now, and I... I am shipping some packages of clothing that I sold and I always save the packaging that any parcel that I receive in the mail comes with. So I have so much to work with and I'm so happy about it. Like this was all padding from some camera gear that I got and they rolled them up into little balls and now I have like that's great to wrap clothes in. So yeah, I feel on one this morning, like truly in a flow state. I've been realizing what works really well for me and just makes me so prepared for my day is going to sleep at 10 p.m. and then waking up around 5.45, making my bed, going to the bathroom, brushing my teeth, and starting my yoga practice at 6 a.m. sharp, and then doing about an hour and a half to two hours of yoga and finishing my practice around 7.38. And then just kind of starting my day from there, doing a little bit of meditation, journaling, and it's 9 a.m. right now, and I just feel so grounded and like I anchored in my presence and my length and my spine and my knowingness, and I'm so ready to pour that into every other aspect of my day, and I feel so energized. So I'm just really grateful to be sleeping well and eating well and doing, filling up my cup with my yoga practice. I love when I wake up and genuinely feel excited to live and exist because for so much of my life, it wasn't that way. And it even just sucks waking up and feeling tired. And so I've just been so grateful that I wake up and feel excited about life and all that I have the potential to create and all the good that I could possibly do. And uh, today I have to bike into town and print all these shipping labels because my printer is not working. I have to do my taxes. And these are things that would normally seem like such draining tasks that I would normally never want to do. I also might try and film a video today, but I literally feel like I can do all of it and I'm so capable. There's this undercurrent of energy that's propelling me and pushing me into everything and that feels so good. I'm so grateful. So I'm gonna package all this stuff up. packaging everything and now I'm eating a mango fruit roll-up that I made so simply this is basically one mango pureed and dehydrated and it was really simple to make I also did this with some coconut meat mixed with a little bit of coconut water and I love making coconut wraps for a delicious lunch with hummus and veggies you can roll it up all nice and it's so good and fresh and the best part is that there's no sugar added. I never understand why companies or brands add sugar to fruit. I just finished filming. You might be able to tell by the disheveled appearance of my space. I have my filming light and I'm importing that footage right now. It's about 5 p.m. I ate that salad and then had a meeting and got ready and I'm feeling kind of like I need to fill up my cup and go outside again so I might go to this temple space tonight with my sister Lulu who's also my wall buddy. She's on the other side of the wall and um, just meditate and breathe. I really like doing something at the end of every day to clear away any stagnant energy or stress that may have built up from like getting things done. So I think I'm gonna do that and start editing this video tonight because I'm supposed to send it over to the brand tomorrow. I really like 
this set that I'm wearing. I feel like it's so cute and flattering and I'm gonna change out of it, especially if I'm going to this temple space to meditate and also clean my room. So let's do that. Another hour, another outfit change. I'm gonna put all that clothes away, but first, this is a half gallon jar. I fill it up two times a day, sometimes more, and I'm not doing so good because it's almost 6 p.m. and I've only had half of a gallon, so I'm gonna fill this up. Just marrying this also Venezuelan guy. And <gasps> So I made some kelp noodles with tahini sauce, avocado, basil. These are some little field roast sausages, that, courtesy of Lulu. Mm -hmm. Some avocado, clover sprouts. Yum. That's my dinner. And I shredded some cucumber. It's a pretty, pretty big bowl. Lulu made some taco. Yum, the siete. Siete, that's right. Mm. Mm. gusta. It's a few days later, and I think I'm gonna end this video here, but I just really quickly wanted to share my deepest, truest, and realest gratitude to you for actually actively integrating any wisdom or experiences that I've shared from my channel into your life. I feel like I get just some of the most beautiful heartwarming comments on this channel of people telling me that I have changed their lives in some way and I genuinely mean it when I say just thank you for receiving and actually integrating the things that you receive from my videos because that's where the magic actually happens and maybe I triggered or made space for a new thought pattern in your mind but you're the one who showed up and rose every day and decided to believe in something lighter a new way of being and I just congratulate you and thank you and I'm so proud of you for showing up and doing that work and believing in the goodness even when everything around you felt really dark or feels really dark it takes a lot of courage and showing up every single day and the imperfection is really where the shift happens and I'm just really proud of you for being on this path and journey and for receiving and actually integrating what you learn from my videos. I feel like integration is so important in every single facet of life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cherish you so deeply and I will see you in a video soon. Bye!